Hello everyone, my name is Sarvan and I am with Informatica. Today in this video, we will be seeing how you can create a relational dictionary using Informatica's test data management 952, HF2 and HF3. So this functionality is uh, available starting uh, version 952 HF2 and it is available in HF3 as well. So today we will be uh, walking through a demonstration as to how we can do it and what are the uh, benefits of uh, benefits of it so the agenda for the video is this to begin with we will uh, create the connections nextly we will see how to create a relational dictionary using the connection we have uh, created in step 1 and then we will go ahead and uh, see how to use create a substitution rule using the dictionary that we have created let's jump on to the demonstration now you are seeing what we call as the login page of Informatica's test data management workbench. So, once you log in, you will be presented with multiple tabs. So, to create a rela relational dictionary, we need to first create or specify the relational connection. How do I do that? I need to go ahead and uh, specify that within the administrator tab. Go to the administrator tab and in there, go to the connection subs tab. So, you will have to create a connection here. So, TDM knows how to go ahead and fetch the table that you would be using as a relational dictionary. Informatica's test data management relies on the fact that you have to build it once and reuse it again and again and again. So, the same connection that we create here can be used to import metadata as well as you can use the same connections to generate the workflow as long as they comply to the requirements of uh, importing the metadata and generating the workflow as well. In other words, it's not that you need to have a specific connection for uh, importing relational tables or creating uh, uh, or creating uh, workflows or uh, importing metadata. You can use the same one. So this is going to save your developers a lot of time, and uh, so you don't have to uh, again and again and again create it. So now let me go ahead and quickly create a connection. So let me name the connection as. Uh, demo video so that way we can relate and uh, we can create a dictionary as well so I'm going to create the connection as demo video so I can choose what kind of connection I'm going to create so in this case I'm going to create a native oracle connection so let me give the username and uh, password so once that is done I need to go ahead and specify the uh, related information right so if I need to pull up from oracle I need to specify the host where uh, my oracle database resides and uh, also the SID of my oracle database. So, I have specified both of them here and uh, I need to specify the connection string that uh, TDM needs to know when it runs the workflows and then click finish. So, the best part is that I have created a connection called uh, demo underscore video and I can use the same connection to import metadata to create substitution rules as well as to generate workflows. So, you go, your developers are going to save a lot of time. So, the next step as we saw in the agenda is to go ahead and uh, create a relational dictionary. Let me quickly uh, go ahead and do it. So, to create a dictionary all we need to do is go to actions and uh, create new dictionary that is option 1 or we can go ahead and click this icon here and that is option 2. So, let me name it as demo video. So, we have uh, we keep it in sync. So, we have two dictionaries, one is a flat file and uh, one is a relational dictionary. This demonstration will be seeing the relational dictionary. So, uh, once I choose which dictionary I am going to use, the next step is to choose the connection. So, let me choose the connection we we created in step 1. So, if you remember on recollect, we created a connection called demo video. So, created a connection called demo video. So, once I choose the connection, it will list various schemas that are available and I am going to choose the schema that uh, is going to be of some help to us. So, if we come here, let me quickly check out the schema. So, this is the schema that I am going to import metadata from and it will also list all, that list all the tables that you need to import metadata from, right. So, uh, or the table that is going to serve as the relational dictionary. So, I am going to let me scroll down and I am going to choose the table that is going to be the relational dictionary. I am looking for the table, ok. So, it is going to be this. Now, let me, yeah, let me choose employee as the relational dictionary and all we need to do is click save. Very simple, right? It is all uh, GUI driven and um, 
it's very very simple so the next step is that we have created a connection created dictionary how do we let the substitution know that this has to use this particular rule or this this particular dictionary so inside of the policies tab go to there and then we can create a rule let me also create the same rule right so by creating the same rule we can be in sync and uh, it's the rule is going to be demo video and i'm going to use a substitution rule so the substitution rule you can choose the dictionary and again what the best part is uh, you can you can use the same dictionary with uh, multiple rules so your developers can uh, create multiple rules and then they can they can tweak it the way they want click next so i have chosen the serial number column and the master value column and i can click on save so successfully i have created the rule as well so if i go to a project let me create a project as well so inside of this project um let me pick up the project that i already have uh, let me just pick up any project i have picked up a random project so as soon as i go ahead and click on actions and uh, click on import metadata it will show me the demo video connection as well let me quickly scroll down just so you can see you can see the demo video connection so as i click next it will again list the same uh, schemas and uh, the schemes the schemas that you want to choose and the tables that you want to import so this way um, your developers doesn't have to create a relational dictionary and um, they would be able to save a lot of time because creating a flat file dictionary uh, sorry this way your developers would should need not create a flat file dictionary again and again and again using the relational source so they can use the same source as the dictionary and it's going to save them a lot of time because you they don't have to create workflows they don't have to get create uh, any flat files and they have not to ensure that it, it conforms to the flat file dictionary standards so all they can do is just quickly come into this ui probably create a rule uh, and uh, a relational dictionary and then they can get done with it and they can have their masking up and running with this i come to the end of this demonstration we would love to have your feedback and uh, if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to reach out to us at supportvideos.informatica.com and uh, you can also reach us reach to us through our twitter handle https://forward/twitter.com/infosupport thank you and have a great day